Hello wise people, this is the reading for Sagittarians um, for the week between the 5th and 11th of October. Let's see what the energy is going to be like and what advice we get from above on how to navigate this week. <laughs> I was just thinking, oh wow, I got love for Sagittarius. And nothing to do with work and then <laughs> the work card came up oh, I love it okay right Sagittarius um, we have the lovers clarified by the strength and by the knight of uh, yeah the knight of swords so, interestingly, I don't know why I find this um, unusual for Sagittarians to get love coming up, the lover's card coming up first. I don't know, don't, don't ask me, it's just something from inside. Usually with them it would be like this movement, this is your card, um, you know, work. Anyway, never mind, it, it, is, it, it all happens for a reason. So... And yeah, clarified by the um, hermit, so it is happening for a reason. Uh, not clarified, sorry, crowned, reading crowned by the oh wow, and the six of uh, the six of uh, staves, the card of success and victory. Wow, very nice, very, very nice reading. Um, I can say you're right off the bat for you, Sagittarians. So Obviously, relationships needs your attention. A relationship, your relationship um, needs your attention. But it could also be work um, connections as well. I mean, don't get me wrong. I actually I wasn't wrong when I said relationships because it could be love. It could be um, associations through work. Um, you seem to have been patient with the strength card here. You've been waiting and biding your time for both whatever type of relationship this is. Um, but it's time for you to make a move. With this um, this um, Knight of um, Swords here, it's time for you to move in and speak your truth and speak up. Okay, so... You've been patient. Some of you may be in a relationship with a fire sign because we have the um, Leo card here. So somebody who's a Leo or a Leo rising or whatever other Leo, um, uh, strong Leo placement on their, um, on their um, chart. Some of you may be in a relationship with a Gemini or with um, a strong Gemini placement like a Venus um, rising or uh, whatever Mars. Yeah. Um, again, fire, fire, uh, a lot of fire, I have to say, which is your element, uh, but it also makes me um, think that you deal a lot with fire people. Um, some of you may be, as I said, um, dealing with uh, Geminis or being in a relationship with the Gemini. Some of you, remember it's a collective and general reading, so the energy is the same for everyone, but the application of it is different for everyone so we'll try to look at uh, all various case scenarios that I can think of right now I mean think of that come to me really rather than think so as I said initially this could be about my first thing was that this is about love you know because this is the, the card of lovers um, before any other uh, relationships so uh, some of you uh, maybe in a relationship with a Gemini person and you had to be very, very patient um, or who has air element on their chart very, very strongly um, and you might have been very patient. You might still have to be very patient as well because things are moving because here um, we have um, the Knight of Staves and we have the... Um, Two of Cups, which is the card of love and relate. Probably that's why actually I thought of love uh, first because this is about love. Um, yeah, it makes sense. See, I said I can't think. I just let it come out as it <laughs> as it's being um, uh, sent to me. I'm just channeling it. So yes, um, 
some of you have a very strong passionate relationship with this person as well because this is the card of work and job and new project and new um, job opportunity new tasks new um, um, role in a job as well but it is the card of, of um, passion as well as you can see by the <laughs> cheeky um, okay so you need to make a move and you will be making a move both in your love life and in your work life as well you have opportunities coming but you need to speak and you need to act as well on it in order to get um, your love life in check and to be happy to be fair because here we have uh, the two of cups this is the card of of um not just love but the right love to be fair because i have the the hem here which is about um, turning inwards about trying to shed light on things about solitude so you might have been on your own for a while and um, you might have not necessarily been on your own but you might have been really looking into your um, life both emotionally and um, um, creatively and um, work um, as well everything that brings you victory that makes you happy um, you have been fighting for everything that you got and um, you finally get victory and you finally get stability here with the king of pentacles and uh, with the um, um, this five of pentacles um, this this is also the card of faith and belief it could be feeling uh, left out, out in the cold for a while you might have to leave somebody behind as well in order to be happy and you've been looking into it um, you've done a lot of um, introspection and thinking all by yourself and then um, you decided that in order to have victory you and stability you have to go with your faith or um, you realized that um, it's just between you and God and nobody else can make you um, decide about your life or nobody else should have a saying in the decisions you make about your life other than as I said you and God and this uh, two of cups is is about that long lasting happy relationship with your I wouldn't say soulmate because there are loads of soulmates out there my daughter is a soulmate to me for example soulmates don't pertain to love relationship necessarily um, nowadays because we are so evolved emotionally and uh, sorry spiritually we got to the stage where we can be involved with our twin flames if you know of that um of that um uh, term but the term that i like is divine connection so this is the card of not just love uh, but divine connection and i feel that you need to move forward into that however it looks to me like communication has been in the way so you either been quiet or your person has been quiet or both of you but it's time for you to talk and perhaps work has been in the way traveling has been in the way but um it's time for you to act on your passion and what you're passionate about and who you are passionate about um charge in because it's safe for you to do so because you be you have been guided into this and um if it's about your person you feel that your person has been very slow and it really stretched your patience here with the card of strength and it's like you've been fighting a beast really um they have to speak up but you also have to remember that um work could have been in the way as well as long distance so some of you may be dealing with people who are foreigners um, or who travel abroad for whatever reason or yeah that's it 
if there is a foreign element or um, are not necessarily foreigners um, by citizenship but uh, by um, heritage and ancestry so yeah take whatever applies to your particular situation um but if you know to me the the key here is this it's you have to be with the person that you have passion with okay because this propels you forward um in love and uh, helps you be in the right relationship and happy in that relationship but happy in your work as well because your work and um, uh, your actions to do with work and creative projects or yeah anything to do with your work is being supported um, or has to be supported by the person you are with yeah so no not somebody who who uh, grudges your work your success um your dreams and hopes in respect of your work or your actions it has to be and that's how you will know yeah you will know who the right person is because they will um support whatever you're doing and also with the hermit card here because um, it's it's um, there is non attachment. They can be happy on their own, as you can be happy on your own when um, you are not um, um, when when you need your time out. Yeah, so not a clingy, unhealthy attachment. And um, I'm oh right for star sign. Yes, I did say. Um, fire signs, air signs, and um, Virgo uh, energy here for some of you as well. And of course, as I said at the beginning, because it's a general reading and um, so many people out there are um, going to listen to this and it will um, have to apply for them somehow as well. Um, you are advised not to um, worry too much about the star signs to be fair because actually not because of the cards because the cards are quite specific so yeah okay this reading might actually m make a lot of sense for certain people it could be a very specific reading this one okay so this could be for certain Sagittarians only so if you are a Sagittarian that can't um, relate to this reading is absolutely fine um, you need to either look at um, your rising sign or your other um, important um, signs like Mars, um, Venus as well. So look at uh, your moon sign as well. Um, so check out your moon, your Venus and your Mars if you feel this doesn't resonate with you because I do have that feeling that is very specific for a very specific group of Sagittarians out there, not for many, okay? Um, and if you're not a subscriber, remember to subscribe and, and um, click on the bell button so you get notified when the next reading goes up because it could be that this, this week is not necessarily very relevant in in some way for you you may want to check last week's reading by the way um as well there will be another one coming next week and that may 
um, resonate with you but I do have a feeling that if you check your other signs um, you will find um, you will find your um, your situation there okay so I really hope it helps those for those of you who have recognized your selves your situation um, please remember to um, leave me a comment like interact because it helps the channel and it motivates me to um, to support you even more if you find it useful and support me so thank you very much and until next time be loved and be happy